Good evening, you're watching the 7 o'clock English news from the Sultan's of Oman Television. First, the headlines. In response to royal directives of His Majesty the Sultan, the Royal Navy of Oman ship Shabab Oman II sails on its fourth international journey. Oman Mining Conference and Exhibition 2019 discusses the best modern practices used in the mining activities and increase the in-country value of mining sector. And the Sultan and Qatar discuss exchanging experiences in the fields of protecting public funds and its monitoring. Now the news in details. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sent a cable of greetings to Her Majesty Margaret II, Queen of Denmark, on her birthday. In response to the royal directives of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, the Royal Navy of Oman ship Shabab Oman II left the Sultan today on its fourth international journey. Musts of glory and peace. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, presided over the farewell ceremony at Said bin Sultan Naval Base. During a six month journey, the vessel will visit several European countries to take part in the long sailboat regattas and participate in the several festivals and celebrations. The Shabab Oman ship seeks to deliver its mission to, of extending bridges of friendship and brotherhood between the Sultan and the world through highlighting the authentic Omani culture in its various international stations. The Public Authority for Mining organized today at Oman Convention and Exhibition Center the Oman Mining Conference and Exhibition 2019 to showcase mining investment opportunities and enhance the role of research industries and innovation in the sector. The conference aims to promote sustainable development and social responsibility, build and rehabilitate the labor force in the mining sector, and review live experiences of mining waste exploitation through the conference workshop in collaboration with Arab Organization for Industrial Development and Mining. The conference is based on continuous efforts in promoting and marketing the mining sector in the Sultan globally, optimizing the investment of the sector and increasing its added value in order to put the sector and its activities on the international agenda. The Public Authority for Mining will launch its identity and website on this conference. The opening ceremony was held under the auspices of His Excellency Said Harab bin Thuen Al Said. Assistant Secretary General of the Council of Ministers for Conferences. Seeking to instill scientific research culture in various higher education institutions, the works of the Second Students' Conference for Scientific Research started at Sultan Qaboos University. The two-day conference seeks to enhance research and innovative knowledge of students through finding encouraged environment that expand their participation inside and outside the Sultan. The participants will have the opportunity to win the prize of best scientific researchers in the field of energy and environment, education, and the field of economy, diversification, and sustainable development. Two Omani students were able to win the gold medal and the best award for an environmental innovation in the 47th International Exhibition for Innovations in Geneva. Around 800 inventions were displayed in the exhibition from 48 countries. The new invention by the two female Omani students is about the production of oil extracted from the kernel of dates and waste oil of kitchens for the use in drilling of oil wells. It's worth mentioning that such initiatives aim to transform environmental wastes into material of economic value. Still to come on News Walton. 
A lecture entitled Omani Diplomacy is presented within the annual day activities of Al Sharqiya University in the Wilayat of Ibra. Welcome back to the news from the Sultans of Oman Television. Exchanging experiences in the field of monitoring work and protecting public funds, top discussions of His Excellency Sheikh Nasser bin Hilal Al Maudi, Chairman of the State Financial and Administrative Audit Institution, with His Excellency Hamad bin Nasser Al Misnad, President of the Administrative Control and Trans Transparency Authority of Qatar, and his accompanying delegation who are currently on a visit to the Sultan. The Qatari official affirmed that the visit aims to acquaint with the Oman experience in the field of combating corruption, which is considered one of the leading experiences in the Gulf and Arab level, which reflected the advancement of the Sultan's rank in the Corruption Perception Index. The Ministry of Manpower continues conducting interviews for job seekers. The Ministry during a week invited over 4,000 job seekers in order to compete for the available job vacancies. The Minister stated that it conducted job interviews for 1,400 job seekers today. It as well conducted interviews for 700 job seekers to compete for over 100 job vacancies in a number of private sector establishments. An introductory forum was held on the Omani Center for Schools Evaluation. The forum shed light on topics related to evaluation process, schools development and education in addition to partnership between the community and the bodies concerned with the delivering the educational message. It also shed light on the future st strategies and visions as well as other matters in related fields. A lecture entitled Omani Diplomacy was presented by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, during the annual day activities of Al Sharqiya University in the Wilaya of Ibra. The lecture stressed on the Sultan's stable stand towards its foreign policy. It also shed light on issues related to the region and efforts exerted to solve the disputes in the Gulf and the continuation of cooperation to bring peace to Yemen. The annual day of the university included various activities such as scientific lectures, artistic exhibitions, as well as honoring of excelled students. Now for the general focus around the Sultan, clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of low clouds early morning over the coast of the governorate of Worcester. Winds will be north, northwest light to moderate, and seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. More on your.
This is the assault of Vermont Television. Before we enter nice bulletin, here are the main points once again. In uh, response to Royal Directives of His Majesty the Sultan, the Royal Navy of Oman ship Shabab Oman II sails on its fourth international journey. Oman Mining Conference and Exhibition 2019 discusses the best modern practices used in the mining activities and increase the in-country value of mining sector. And the Salted and Qatar discuss expanding experiences in the fields of protecting public funds and its monitoring. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here in the newsroom and the studios, good night.